hello friends hope you are doing well so today's video topic is if you are facing this error automatic repair preparing automatic repair in this video i will show you a permanent solution for this error so let's start so you can see the blue screen error automatic repair your pc did not start correctly so the first method you can try is simply click on restart and it will restart your laptop or desktop and it will fix your issue the second method you can try is simply click on this advanced option then click on troubleshoot then click on advanced option again then click on this option command prompt now select your login username now enter your login username password if you are using otherwise leave it blank and click on continue now you have to type a few commands to repair your windows corrupted files or windows boot files so let's start with our first command sfc space slash scan now so this command will repair all the windows corrupted files type this command and press enter this process will take a few minutes verification process completed now type the next command chk dsk space slash f space c colon so this command will repair all the bugs in your disk type this command then press enter process completed now type the next command bootrec space slash fix mbr type this command and press enter now type the next command bootsec space slash nt60 space sys press enter now type the next command bootrec space slash fix boot press enter now type the final command bootrec space slash rebuild bcd press enter that's it now type exit now click on continue and this will fix your issue now move on to our last method you can try if you are still getting the same issue click on troubleshoot now click on this option reset this pc so this is your final or last method you can try if you are still getting automatic repair error continuously so in this method all the files all the data in your desktop will remain safe so as you can see there are two options keep my files or remove everything so if you select the first option keep my files all the data in your desktop or in your other partition will remain safe but if you choose the second option remove everything in that case all the data will remove so I go for the first one keep my files then click on local reinstall so you can see the option reset this pc and these are the details your pc will go back to the default mode but all the data in your system will remain safe so there will be no data loss in this process but your software will remove totally so your software will remove but your data will remain safe click on reset and this will take around 20 minutes to complete and it will reset your pc completely but in that process your data will remain safe so this is your final method you can try this is all for the video thank you